Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today's is a bit different to my usual content in that today I'm not making a video on my M140i. Today I'm making a video on this. And what is this? What do we have here? Well, this is a 1997 Subaru Impreza WRX STI version 3 Type R. This is quite a rare thing. JDM only, built to order only, and made between January and August of 1997. A total of only 1,371 of these were produced. So the Type R, what exactly was that then? Well, if we lift the bonnet, it's aluminium. The engine is a two litre EJ20 flat four, which gives it a nice low centre of gravity. According to Subaru, these made 280 PS or 276 horsepower and 253 pounds feet or 375 Newton meters of torque. Around the time these were being made, pretty much all Japanese cars made 280 PS at that time. This has the red top forged engine and the IHI VF23 Turbo, which I understand boosts to one bar or 14 and a half PSI. It also has the intercooler water spray, which has automatic or manual control. And the entire car weighs in at 1240 kilos, which gives it a power to weight ratio similar to my M140. Now helping it down the road, it has a five speed close ratio gearbox from its rally car homologation origins and it's got permanent four-wheel drive. It's got mechanical rear limited slip differential and it also has DCCD which is a driver controlled center differential. That's a six plate clutch in the middle to adjust the torque split from 50 front to 50 rear all the way to 35% to the front and 65 to the rear and that's adjusted in five steps by rolling a little dial by the gear lever. As we can see, it's the two-door body shell, which saved 10 kilos and increased rigidity over the four-door shell. Rigid, lightweight, should be quite agile. Now, I've not driven this yet. I've sat in it to set my cameras up. Um, I was fortunate enough to be given a passenger ride by the owner a while back. But when I first went round um, ours to see this car, the first thing I noticed when he opened the door was the flare throttle pedal right down there. So heel and toe friendly. Seats, original, everything about this car is original. We've got the 555 logo. Floor mats, they look a bit aftermarket, but they're 100% original. It has a couple of factory fit options. The first of which is the STI piston gear knob. It also has the boost gauge and it's got a carbon fiber handbrake. I mentioned the driver controlled center differential. There you can see the dial for rolling it and it gives a readout in the dials on the dashboard uh, in between the two clocks there. We've got the original um, logos, the decals, the WRX tuned by STI one there. If we come around the back, WRX Subaru Impreza there, Type R, genuine carbon fiber Subaru Technica International badge. 
and the World Rally Manufacturers Champions Subaru 1996 badge. Even the exhaust is original. These I'm led to believe are quite a rare thing. It's got these wind deflectors on there. Apparently that's how they came from the factory. I'm told most people have ripped them off, but these are still present and um, intact. Also, we have the original stereo from Japan, the Adzest. This was an option. And one other thing I'll mention before I take this out on the road, and that is that it's got a flare in the passenger footwell. Now, before I'd seen this car, I never even knew they were a thing. It's immaculate, it's standard, it's 100% original, and it's a piece of JDM motoring history. As I said, I've never driven one before. Until recently, I'd never even sat in one. And luckily for me, the owner has said, I can drive it. And he said that to really appreciate it, I must drive it hard. So that's enough talking. Let's get my camera set up and join me when I get my first experience of driving a flat four 1997 version three WRX STI Type R. I'm really looking forward to this. Right, here we go then. Genuine excitement and nerves on my part right now. Got no idea what to expect. This was the supercar destroyer back in 1997. What's it going to feel like 23 years on? Seats, nice and low. It's not too high, not too high. I don't know why I was expecting it to feel a bit higher. Oh, that's a heavy clutch. Oh, look at that. Big spoiler, nice. God, that's mechanical and short. That's a nice throw, okay. Oh, okay, throttle response is quite good. Oh, the steering's quite heavy. Nice heavy steering. And away we go. Oh, I like that gear lever. I can hear... <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, I doubt it. I can hear blow-off noises from under the bonnet. Yeah, it's quite firm. So this car's done, I think, 100,000 kilometres, so about 60,000 miles. It doesn't feel like it. Everything feels nice and taut. Oh, they take a firm press, that pedal. The brake pedal takes a firm, firm old shove. I can really feel how short the gears are. I hope you can hear that blow off valve or whatever it is. I know everything under there is standard, but I'm really hearing some gas or some pressure being released when I change gear each time. It's actually quite busy. It is fidgety, it is firm. From what people have told me, I kind of expected it to feel quite soft, um, but it doesn't feel soft at all. That's fourth gear, what? The gearing in this, it was like 4,000 RPM in fourth gear at 40 miles an hour. So we've got the intercooler spray button down there. I'm not sure I'll be pressing that. I think it's, yeah, the lights lit up on the automatic mode um, one. So it will do that if it needs to, if it decides we're getting a bit of heat soak in the engine bay or, you know, the inlet temperatures are getting too high. So we've got 60 second, 60 limit, third gear. Oh, okay. Hello, turbo. It's very 90s, all of this. Very 90s. It's aged well though, it's aged really well. Wow. So 4,000 RPM in 40 mile an hour in third gear. Seven. It's quite laggy. So the 
response after I press the pedal and press it properly, you get the sense that there's a big old turbo there. Um, it is quite laggy, but it's dramatic, really dramatic. And it's such, it doesn't feel like that in my car. The shove, difficult to describe. It's a real, real solid push in the back. So I'm fifth gear at some miles an hour, put my foot down. So I talk about the owner, um, Al, he's had this car, I think it's approaching 10 years now. He bought it for not much money. Um, it was original, he contemplated selling it for a while, but then decided to hang on to it. And he's slowly come to realize exactly what he's got here, especially with it being original. And he's been on a mission. It wasn't in this condition when he got it, but on a mission to restore it back to kind of, you know, standard and original conditions. So he bought the stereo, he had to find that. He got the six disc changer in the boot, which he had to buy direct from China, uh, China from Japan. Um, he bought the brochure that goes with the car. He's done many things to just make it absolutely 100% original again. He's even bought, and when I first went around to see this car, I did chuckle, but I thought, ah, that's, that's my kind of ownership. Um, in the garage, he's got four discs, brake discs, all round, and two sets of pads. Genuine Subaru items. When it gets to the point that it needs new discs and pads, he wants to make sure the proper original items go on there. So he's already got a complete new set of brakes in the garage, ready for when this eventually needs it. But he doesn't do many miles in it. This is part of the reason why I'm so excited about driving this car today and why I feel so privileged because between August last year when it was MOT'd and August this year when it was MOT'd we did 95 miles in this car by the time we get back and I finished I probably will have done about half his annual mileage that's a treat 230 horsepower per ton four wheel drive rally based not inspired but rally based I believe you know, the, the, the core, all the bits that this has got, the DCCD, the water cooler, um, intercooler water spray, the close ratio gearbox, they all exist because it was developed so they could take this car rallying. So it's, it's like a proper rally car for the road. So what's the lag like at 4,000 RPM? I'm at 4,000 at the moment in third gear. Let's give it a boot call. That feels like it pulls harder than my car. Oh, what a thing. So yeah, back to Al and his ownership of this car. He has no intention whatsoever of letting this car go, and I can see why. If I had the space, if I had the garage, if I had the money, I would love to have something like this tucked away. Original, just as it was when it left the factory. I mean, such a treat to be able to drive this. When I'm driving that, I don't get the sense no. that I'm getting a shove in the back. No. This is relentless. I know. Right, part two. So I've just been having a chat with the owner, and he's like, I thought you said you were going to drive it. You need to drive it. You need to feel what it's like. So we've swapped the camera around on my car. It's now on the back of my car. He's going ahead. He's going to set the pace. I need to keep up. Let's go. Wow. We only really revved it to about 6k on the way here. Fifth gear is enough. That goes well in fifth gear. Oh, and we're off.
imagine being a rally driver in one of these things. Right, heel and toe down to fourth. Oh, uh, power. quicker than my car. That's mental. Oh, the way it goes in fifth gear. Oh my word. flashing nice let's go second gear come on go 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 uh, oh and there we go feel like it should be a bit fragile after 23 years but you've got to remember underneath at its core this was designed to handle rally stages so a fairly smooth British B road isn't really going to be too much trouble for it So to sum up, yeah, what a thing, what a car. I've done the four wheel drive thing before with my Focus RS, similar levels of power, but a lot more weight. This feels agile, it feels responsive. It's very, very nice to drive. It's firm, but when we really got it moving and we were you know, making progress, it all just comes together and it makes sense and see that scoop out the front there I don't know, feel a bit like you know some rally driver on a rally stage so yeah there, there are genuine thoughts on my part that I'd be quite happy I think in one of these as my own car it feels ballistic today. What would it have felt like in 1997? At that time, I'd just moved from a 50 horsepower Fiesta into a 100 horsepower diesel 306, and people were rolling around in these. Unbelievable. So, massive thank you to Alan for letting me have the opportunity to drive this. That's, um, that's an experience I'm not gonna be forgetting in a hurry. It's exactly what you said, it comes together. Yeah. When you get on it, yeah. and I mean, I'm glad you were ahead of me in that. Yeah. Gave me something to chase. Exactly. And I had to drive it. Because yeah. if you're going that fast in that, why can't I keep up in that? Yeah, exactly. And it, it just all comes together. That's nice. So good. <laughs>